Some kids love video games. Others live to make music. When you throw in a passion for problem solving, you've got the potential for a great career in IT. 23-year-old Kevin Thomas is hoping for a glimpse of the night sky. His hobby of astrophotography uses long-time exposure to capture a glimpse of objects so far away they can't be seen with the naked eye. I've always been passionate about space and uh, the universe. I'm still pretty happy with this one because we got a lot of detail out of it. Kevin's been interested in astronomy for a long time, almost as long as he's been interested in computers. That started back when he was playing video games and continued as he took programming classes in high school. I also built my own gaming computer. I just purchased all the parts separately and you know, figured out how to put them all together through some of my computer repair classes. Kevin earned two associate's degrees from Stanley Community College, one in networking technology. He's taken those skills and turned that interest into a successful career in IT. He spends a lot of time in the field. Today, Kevin's helping the Alexander County Sheriff's Department fix a dash cam problem. I never thought I'd be working with camera systems or law enforcement, to be honest with you, but that's just kind of how it worked out, and actually, I'm really enjoying it. I, I find it very interesting what these guys do every day, and kind of get to talk to them and hear stories from them. And we've had reports from other agencies, people saying that, you know, oh, the officer used, you know, called me this, called me that. Well, you can go back and watch the video and say, no, he didn't. So that can save somebody's job. Kevin didn't learn how to work on these cars in college. It's not what he got his degree in. He had to take additional courses after. And experts say that's what you've got to expect with a career in IT. Because not only may your circumstances change, the technology always will. This sorting is important because in real world, working out in industry. James Thomas is the IT department chair at York Technical College. The technology used at your job is going to shift, and therefore you can't always get everything that you need on the job. So I would uh, pretty much expect that you're going to do some sort of training, either a professional development type of tra training where you go back to a concentrated conference or a uh, course of study for a couple of weeks or return to from industry to uh, something like a, a college or a community college technical school about once every two to three years at least in order to get additional training. There are many different careers within the information technology field. Some of the hottest in our area for those with an associate's degree include document management specialist, computer repair technician, video game designer, and telecommunications analyst. Thomas says they all take some combination of education and on-the-job training. There's been a trend where people have gone into the technology area for intense training such as at technical or community colleges and they usually uh, spend between one and two years of intense hand-on on training in, in what they're going to work with whatever area it is whether it's networking or programming and then they can go out and they can get an entry-level job in the industry. Thomas says the hottest jobs right now are in IT security. Now with a two-year degree an entry-level job will have a salary between $43 and $50,000 a year. An entry-level job in programming, writing the software that makes computers do all the tasks we're so used to, pays $43,000 to $49,000 a year with a two-year degree, a bit more than a networking job, which involves linking up computers in a system so they can share information. A network can be in a home and involve a few devices, or a large business, or even a city. Thomas says those numbers can flip between the two specialties any given year. Next is the programming side. Programming analysts can make $41,000 to $45,000 a year. Analysts can write code and create web designs and software. They also work with designers and content producers on the finished product. Then, network management jobs, which pay about $40,000 to $49,000 a year. Network managers are responsible for designing, implementing, and administering computer network systems, often between organizations. This is a leadership role. Without a two-year degree, but with a specialized certificate, these jobs pay about $10,000 less annually. An IT certificate is awarded after taking a class, either online or at a local college, that usually lasts a few weeks, followed by a standardized test for that skill. A bachelor's degree will open doors to higher-paying jobs as a business intelligence analyst, 
information systems manager, computer systems analyst, software developer, database administrator, information security analyst, or web administrator, to name just a few. In the Southeast United States, Thomas says the IT fields with the biggest growth potential are security, expected to grow as much as 20 to 30% in the next five to 10 years, then network management, then programming and programming analysts. Regardless of the job, Thomas says everyone in IT needs one key skill. Or the person coming into the field has to have an absolute passion for problem solving. It's even more important than knowing anything about computers. Figuring out the key to a song or the key to a computer program has always appealed to 21-year-old Andy Simmons. The way I look at it is they're both problem solving. They're both a science and an art at the same time. Uh, you can be creative with music, obviously, and you can also be creative with computer programming. Andy writes and records music in his spare time. When he's not doing that, he goes to class at York Tech, where he's earning an associate's degree in computer technology with a concentration in computer programming. And when not in class, he heads to downtown Rock Hill for his internship at the Hive Business Center. Andy works on websites for nonprofits and small businesses while getting real work experience. I really enjoy just getting out my computer and saying to either my family or my friends, hey, look what I did, look what I created. Andy and Kevin have been able to follow their interests to create okay. rewarding hobbies and promising careers. Kevin's advice for anyone considering a career in IT, start now, take a class, tinker at home or online, and be patient. Well, working in the IT field, it's a, it, it can be a very frustrating field at times, but when you figure out an issue and um, help somebody out, get, it, get their issue worked out, it's one of the most rewarding things you can do. For more information about high demand careers in the information technology field, check out centralinaworks.com and charlotteworks.com.